Hello, my name is Sandy Sanderson of Electromagnesium. I'm here today chatting with Eliza Priddle. Thank you very much for coming today, Eliza. A little bird told me you were a horse whisperer. Can you explain a little bit about that? Thanks for having me, Sandy. Um, about 20 years ago, I was given a horse that I couldn't do anything with. I was a normal rider. I did everything the way everybody else did normal horsemanship. And about uh, three months into my journey with this horse, I was introduced to an American who was riding a horse without a saddle and bridle. And I saw what he was doing and I thought, that's my missing link. And to cut a very long story short, uh, 20 years later I uh, am, am still teaching natural horsemanship. But we've taken it one step further because horses are very holistic. Everything in the environment, emotionally, physically, mentally, need to be balanced with a horse. And we were finding even though we had the training right, there were still some missing links for health uh, and emotional stability in the horses. So I started looking into supplementation and what was going on with the diet for the horses. There are a lot of different diets out there and a lot of them, just like in the human world, are heavily processed. And so looking at getting the horse back to its natural state was really important to me. I was doing natural horsemanship and I wanted to get their diets back to a natural state. So we started looking at different supplementation. And about five or six years ago, I was introduced to the concept of magnesium. It used to be calcium was the big deal in, horsemen, in horses and healthy horses. And then we started to discover that that was actually a little incorrect. And magnesium was something that was well known for humans to make a big difference for um, both, both physical and mental uh, stability. So we started to experiment with magnesium. And that's how we, I was introduced into uh, your business, your product. What? what issues did you experience with your horses before you discovered magnesium chloride as a, as a magnesium supplement? So a lot of horses that I handle are quite damaged. They've had some bad experiences, whether that be via humans or just in the environment that they were living in. And horses can be quite twi twitchy. You touch them and they'll jump. They'll get nervous to the touch. And I found that it didn't matter what training I did, even though I could handle the horses quite well and, and get some amazing things happening with them, they'd almost feel like they had a little e electric shock every time you touch them. And that's not all horses, but some specifically were very touchy. And we found with the magnesium that that calmed down a lot. Their behavior was very, very uh, different, it was very calm, relaxed. They weren't as um, reactive to touch uh, after we started on the magnesium. What would you recommend uh, about making sure the horse gets food grade magnesium chloride? And what's the difference? Um, it's, it is really important, Sandy, you get the right one. Before I found your magnesium, we would, I was just using what ended up just being Epsom salts uh, until I was more educated. Uh, and it has, has very, it's a cleanser, but it has very little effect uh, on, the, on the body as much as your magnesium does. So there's also a lot of cheap imported Chinese or Asian magnesiums out there that we actually had tested and they carry heavy, heavy metals. So it is very, very important to get food grade magnesium. The changes that we had in the feet only came on the food grade magnesium. And do you have any other suggestions about how to make sure you have a healthy horse environment and what would make a happy horse? Happy horses are horses that can move. One of the biggest issues I see with horses these days is they're cramped in small yards or stables. Um, even you know a quarter of an acre is not enough for a horse. A horse loves to run. They naturally need to be in a herd. They're a herd animal and their security comes from their herd. So for me, it's really important that they have natural grazing 24 seven. Horses guts are designed to constantly move with food through them. So. 23 hours of 24 they should be eating so it's really important the horses have grazing. Happy horses are also horses that have continual uh, commitment from their human. We don't want to see them on a Tuesday and a Friday and the rest of the week not see them. They really need that emotional commitment every day from, from people to spend time with them, to love them and be with them. And just generally have a heart to heart connection even if it's just brushing your horse. It's really important to spend time every day with your horse. Yes, they're very social creatures, aren't they? They are indeed. They love to be part of what you're doing. 
Eliza, thank you very much for coming today and sharing your great advice with horse owners. If someone wants to contact you for a consultation, what would they do? Thank you, Sandy. It's been an absolute pleasure. My website is elizapriddle.com and I'm available anytime for phone or email consults. If people have questions about their horse's diet or behavioural issues, I'm always available. Thank you guys for your amazing product. It really has made my life and my horse's lives a lot happier.